Welcome to another video from the Unenlightened Generalists. It's been a little while since we've done any videos because we have both been colossally busy and both of us have been trying to socialize more and experience life a little bit more and have some fun. But today I wanted to do two things. I want to quickly revisit my cork board and tell everyone how it's doing. I've had a few questions on that. And I want to make some cookies with you because I think with everything feeling sort of tense these days with world crises happening, uh, distant lands and at home for all of us, I think cookies are very important. So we are here in my kitchen space and we're about to get to some serious cooking. Mm. So I have everything out that I need for our cookies. First thing that I'm going to do is take half cup of fine sugar I'm using nice caster sugar and almost that much about a half a cup of brown sugar this butter's been sitting out for a little while but it's too cold so i'm actually going to just cut it up a bit and these smaller chunks I'm going to melt so much faster in the pan because I don't need to get it really hot. I just need to melt it a little. And yes, I know some people will use a microwave. I prefer not to. In fact, Katie and I don't even own a microwave. And now let's put that butter into the pan. In the saucepan, you can see it's already hot, already heating up. Uh, doesn't that look fine? Oh, you can almost smell it, can't you? Gosh, what a wonderful thing that is. Hmm. Now, as I said, we don't want it to be too hot. If it's too hot, then when we go to add our egg, it's just going to cook the egg, and nobody wants cooked egg in their cookie. We start off by adding the warmed butter. We're just gonna mix it up. It's okay if it isn't perfect. Remember, that's one of the most important things about being an enlightened generalist. Everything is just practice. One of my favorite seasonings, vanilla. We want this to come through, so I'm going to add a whole teaspoon. Today, I'm going to actually add a secret ingredient as well to bring out a little extra flavor. A tiny bit of organic almond extract. We're just going to mix this all together. The almond and the vanilla. Oh, and that butter smell. <laughs> this is purely heaven. Add our flour. I'm only using a little bit under one cup. So I'm going to add one heaping teaspoon of baking soda. So that's about another half a teaspoon of salt. Let's mix all of this together. It's alright if it's a little heavy at first. There we go. See, it almost forms itself into a ball. Ooh, I lost a little friend here. Now for the really fun part. I use Lily's brand. I find them to be really lovely, and it's a nice way because these are sweetened with stevia, so you end up with a lower calorie chocolate chip, and that makes for a lower calorie chocolate chip cookie. My oven is already preheated at 350. We're just going to take a little bit of very coarse sea salt. What many people don't realize is that the secret to a really good chocolate chip cookie isn't actually sugar, it's salt. That's going to really enhance the flavor of these. Make it something special. All right. That's it. The cookies are ready to go into the oven. Oh, they already smell delicious. It's only been a couple of minutes. While we're waiting for them, why don't we go take a look at that cork board I promised you earlier. So if you're watching this and you've seen my last video, this will be pretty familiar to you. You have my, my daily and weekly chores. 
These are all just the most basic, kind of simple things that I need to do to keep the house feeling nice and functional and welcoming. A few people have asked why I decided to go and use index cards on a cork board when there are so many very useful online solutions. Part of it has to do with internet privacy and security. Nobody should have access to my personal data but me. Even if it's just what I'm planning on making for dinner or whether or not I've done the laundry. I have also found that having the chores be present where I can see them has allowed me to make them a more present part of my daily life. It's very hard to forget about them. But there aren't too many of them either. With a digital system, it's so easy to add on everything that you need to do to make colossal lists of things that you need to take care of, or to deal with a, a Trello board where you have multiple columns and you're constantly shifting pieces around at the end of your day. And that might be necessary if you're uh, struggling with a specific task, you know, a specific project, or if you're in, working in a very high intensity environment where you have a lot of moving parts. But what I'm trying to do with this is cultivate a practice that makes my home life feel better. I want a warmer, safer feeling home. And I can provide that to myself, for myself, and for my partner by just taking care of a few of the basic tasks here at home. It's also very easy and satisfying to move one of these cards over. When I move a card over, I feel a visceral sense of accomplishment, even if I have just completed an actual task, like vacuuming the floor. There's something extra special about getting to move that card over one slot. Having a practice that's consistent, so the intention of every day do these things. That practice, that consistency, means that if I end up having to skip one day, well that's okay, because the continuing practice itself isn't interrupted. And that way I can hold a lot of compassion for myself when things do inevitably get harder to do. I just checked on the cookies and they're really big. I think last time that I made these, I spaced them out a little bit more and I made them a tiny bit smaller. <laughs> Every morning I get up at 5.30 a.m. and then I'm exercising by six o'clock. By creating that system, I actually now miss it when I'm not taking care of these things. When I'm not exercising in the morning, I miss that. And I actually had two rest days a week planned, but it feels strange to get up and just sit on the couch now. So instead of getting up and doing nothing on those rest days, I stretch and I meditate. And that gives me this sense of fulfillment and completion that lasts the entire day. And it's the same way with my chores. I find that I miss having the vacuumed floor every day. I find that I miss looking at the countertops at the end of the day and going, wow, those are really shiny. Or waking up to that clean space in the morning first thing. So I'll step off of my soapbox and let's go bake some cookies. All right, this is it. Oh, look at those. Let's begin transferring them over to the sheet nice and carefully there we go and there we are fresh out of the oven the gloriously thin crispy yet still chewy perfect cookies i'm very excited to share this cookie and this glass of milk with you. And I'd like to thank you for being here with me today. I hope that you found the process of baking with me fun. And I hope that you enjoyed another look at my corkboard chore chart. For now, let's break into our cookie. Oh, it's crisp. Let's dunk it into our glass of milk. Mmm. <laughs>
<sighs> that is a damn fine cookie. Thank you for being here today. It would mean the world to me if you would consider liking this video and subscribing. That lets us know that you want more content like this in the future and lets us know that we have some friends out there who are interested in the same sorts of things.